<laughs> Regenerative cool. agriculture. Yes. Okay. So I alluded earlier to the fact that we're all farmers by proxy. Mm. The responsibility of that is immense because farmers are either farming destructively or regeneratively. Okay? And we can, it's, that's not in dispute. Mm. What has been the result of this? Well, there's lots of results. The main result, which you've just spoken about, is a sick human race. Mm. A human race that is incapable. And I have to agree, if you, all you need to look at, Steve, is cancer rates, yeah. women's egg counts, yeah. male sperm counts. Yeah. Crashing, okay. testosterone crashing, as a, autoimmune, as a exponentially breeder, increasing. As a breeder of livestock, okay, if you don't breed for fertility, it's over. Okay. How have we got there? We've polluted our environment. Yeah. Primarily through agriculture. Of course, we've also polluted it with plastics, with with cell phones, True. you know, all that EMFs, and, and, and you've got amazing insights into the sun and light, and yeah. all of that. But agriculture is also part of that drama. Absolutely. So not only has the conventional agriculture system failed in terms of feeding people, it's not feeding anybody, it's making them sick, the exact opposite of feeding. And the second thing is it's destroying the environment. So, you know, we don't have hours to chat, but for me the most the, 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 the biggest uh, um, visual to think about the destructive impact of agriculture is to think of two things. The first is the rainforests. How many soccer fields of rainforest are lost every hour of every day in the world? Tell me. Guess, bro. <laughs> 10. 36. 36. 36 soccer fields of rainforest every hour. Of every day. That's a lot of... That's a lot of soccer fields. It's a lot of land, eh? It's a lot of animals that don't have homes. It's a lot of biodiversity gone. And it's a hell of a lot of oxygen mm. that we need to live. That's, they've taken away the ability to do that. But it gets worse. What do you do with the rainforest? What do they do? They replace it. And they plant four crops. Palm oil, soya, maize, and sugar. What, what is the common denominator of all? What are, there are common, a few common denominators yeah, of those four. What things. are they? They're, they're mostly toxic to the human race. Yeah. Especially they the way that they've been farmed in, and grown. grown in monocultures Correct. to destruct the environment. Yeah. They're Would inflammatory. They, now, they, you're, yeah. you're a doctor, right? Yeah, yeah, you know. I, yeah. I'm not a doctor. But what I do know is that almost every disease today yeah. is inflammatory. Yeah. Almost correct. And especially your seed oils, your vegetable oils, those things. That Grain fed beef, dude. Yeah. The omega six and three ratio is completely out. No, we've done it. So people over, eating beet, beef, yeah. and they just in, in, it's being inflammatory. We, yeah, we see the markers that are totally the ratio is totally out. It's at least over five hundred tests. We see that the omega sixes are really really high compared to the omega threes. That's causing significant issues, significant problems. Inflammatory. Okay. Yeah. So the 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 the, the and then there's glyphosate. How much yeah. do you talk, or how much is your community? Chat about no, glyphosate. No, we know we've had uh, Stephanie Sonef on. We speak about okay. glyphosate. We know that I think in the States, 80% of air and water is filled with glyphosate. South Africa is not very different to those well, figures. South Africa well. will be more because we're the only country in the world where the staple diet is genetically modified for glyphosate, for GMOs. So for those who don't know what glyphosate is, basically it's the most widely used agricultural chemical of all time. It's in 90, every human being that's been tested for it, it's 93% have it in their, in their blood and urine. Okay, it's in breast milk, it's, it's everywhere. It's used on all crops because it's so powerful. What it does, the first patent was 1964. Mm. It was patented as a chelator. So in other words, they, they, they had these huge boilers, industrial boilers, and the, and the boilers were locking up, clogging. And the guys mm. are like, what's going on? Minerals, minerals. And invented glyphosate, put it into those boilers, clean. So it binds through what they call the metalloprotein, zinc, manganese, molybdenum, copper, iron, all of those guys. That's what it's doing in your body. Mm. It's demineralizing you. Yes. When they plant GMO, so or they call it Roundup Ready Soya, not only they give the, 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 the seed company gives them Roundup Ready, Roundup, which is glyphosate, yeah. they give them the soya, and then they give them a pack of minerals. But the farmers haven't put two and two together. Yeah. Because, because again, we're living in a world where we're only looking at a tomato. It looks like a tomato. Mm. It doesn't have the nutritional benefit of a tomato. We don't understand how it's been grown. Mm. Okay? Yeah. 
So again, we've lost context. We need to go wider from narrower. And, 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 and I think that that is not an intellectual exercise. It's here. Yeah. You, Steve, you place every single intellectual fact on the table. People still don't change. Mm. Something has to happen. Sure, it yeah, does. It has to change within, change. but then also industry is making it very, very difficult, making it really hard. It does not start with this enslavement to finances, because once they enslave you to finances, then you're running on this sort of wheel, this rat running on this wheel to say, I said, I don't have the time to go to the farmer's market and actually buy. Absolutely. I just got to buy conveniently. You're surviving. Correct. Instead of Literally thriving. Literally trying to survive.